you guys want to see something really funny? <laughs> oh god. Uh, it held. It held. Um, quite a bit. You guys can see the chunks that are still on the ground. They're, uh, they're not small. It held enough where my yard is completely covered in this stuff and my bed of my truck is completely filled. Yeah, needless to say, I'm not happy about it. We're gonna check on Eva now because uh, it held enough to sink the damn Titanic over here on all of my stuff. So we're gonna undo this and see how bad it is. I'm more worried about the glass than anything. I don't think anything's totaled, but that was a serious amount of hail and I gotta go over these cars pretty good and see how much is damaged. But right now we're gonna get ready to go to an event. Yeah, we are uh, we just got hailed on like crazy. But I just got back from work and I'm now gonna prep these cars to go to the freaking drift track and see if I can get this thing to have some drift with it or something. All right, welcome back to Absurd Automotive. Today we are at North Pole Speedway and we have the setup here. We're gonna be taking Eva out on the track and we're not gonna be drifting. I don't think this thing's even capable of drifting, but this is a drift event and it's a practice day. So they're letting me run Eva around the track. It's, it's kind of a joke, but it's cool to get it out and about. This place is super cool and it's kind of a hidden gem because a lot of people don't know about this place, but yeah, North Pole Speedway in North Pole, Alaska. They've got some pretty neat little cars out here, a few places. One of the guys said he would actually let me ride with them. So <laughs> hopefully we're going to be getting a lot of film today, not just of my car, but other people's cars and just kind of what they do out here. And this is, it's pretty cool. I think it's just an account they have on Facebook called Drift Alaska. It's pretty cool. I, I, I think they got some serious, not serious cars, but <laughs> for Alaska, some serious car. <laughs> So we're going to go change the jetting in EVA because last time we just flooded the car. So I'm going to pull the carb off, re-jet it with the new jets we got, and I'm going to see how well it runs this time and kind of just, you know, test and tune day. I'm going to test and tune the car and see what she can do, see what she likes, and see if I can get the car to slide a little bit too. I'm going to be very careful about that so I don't put this thing into a wall. <laughs> Here we go, she's unloaded. We're gonna see if we can pass tech and then uh, hit the track and see what she does. All right, you guys will get a pretty cool little view of the track here, just up on one of the stands up here. Cars over there, in the pit area, pretty neat. But yeah, that's a little track. It's not super big, but it's like I said, it's a little bit of a hidden gem because no one's out here. So I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy with this. I'll probably try and slide it out here. That way if I do slide, I'm not gonna hit a wall or anything. I don't think it's gonna happen. I'll pull a knee brake and see what happens, but yeah. That's a track. We're going to go out on it in a second here and see what happens.
the nice guy with the 86 that's like 500 something horse is gonna give me a ride so we're gonna go for that and this, <laughs> this thing's like an actual drift car so we'll see how much fun this is JDM cars. It's so cool. This is such a cool experience. Obviously, I don't have a car that's built for this, but I got to get out and have some fun with it. All right, there we go. All loaded up. Thanks to North Pole Racetrack and the Drift Alaska for having me out and letting me drive this slow piece of garbage around. But hey, it was it was fun while it lasted. That thing was a friggin' blast. And yeah, maybe we'll have to come back to another event.